A very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabid. Now, before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. The EU commands significant progress on the human rights in Sri Lanka. The Prime Minister returns to the island, completing a successful visit in India. Set of guidelines issued to safeguard school children in the face of the current dry weather situation. Coronavirus disease named COVID-19. We now have a name for the disease. And it is COVID-19. In our lead story, a European Union report compiled by the High Representatives of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy has stated that Sri Lanka has shown significant progress on the human rights front. The report is on the EU Special Incentive uh, Arrangement for Sustainable Development and Good Governance Assessment of Sri Lanka covering the period 2018 to 2019. The EU pointed out that the government has engaged with the UN system. The report goes on to say that the government still has to deliver on a number of important reforms that are of direct relevance for the effective implementation of the human rights conventions listed in the GSP Plus regulation. In more news at home, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha and his delegation returned to the island, completing a successful visit in India. The Prime Minister commenced his tour on the 7th of this month. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha toured in India on an invitation from Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on a state visit. During his visit, Prime Minister Rajapaksha held discussions with Indian President Ramnath Govind, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, External Affairs Minister Dr. Subramaniam J. Shankar, former Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and former Indian Congress Party leader Rahul Gandhi. The Prime Minister and the delegation also visited several religious places in India. In more news at home regarding the heat, the Ministry of Education has issued several recommendations for schools in the face of the current dry weather situation. All schools have been educated not to involve children in vigorous outdoor activities when the temperature is intense. The Health Ministry advises to follow measures such as drinking water frequently, avoiding consuming of high sugar drinks, using umbrellas and other head covers when outdoors, wearing light colored clothing, not engaging in severe outdoor activities between 11 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. when the heat is most intense to safeguard students. Still in local news, Sri Lanka's 72nd Independence Day was commemorated with the participation of Sri Lankans residing in Australia and friends of Sri Lankans and the Sri Lanka Rama premises in Brisbane. Uh, 72nd Sri Lankan Independence Day is celebrated here in Brisbane today at the Sri Lanka Rama Temple. And the Asodara Dhamma School and the Asodara Singha School teachers, parents and pupils all together celebrated this event today. The event has collaboratively been organized by the Yashodara Dhamma School and Yashodara Sinhala School. Events featuring Sri Lankan culture were also pre-arranged in line with the celebrations. Messages of President Gotabe Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha were also read. Updates of the event are brought by Asiri Bandara from Brisbane. The Duchesses of Rutland, Her Grace Emma Manis, arrived in Sri Lanka to experience the Ayurvedic and yoga treatment in Sri Lanka. She touched Seagreer and graced several important programs, visiting many historical places around the island. The Duchess added value to the country's tourism sector. 
She was first guest from Rutland to experience Sri Lankan Ayurvedic and yoga treatment. Wearing Sri Lankan traditional osari by her was another salient feature of her presence. So being invited here to open Chandra's new hotel, this Ayurvedic experience, which is totally and utterly unique. I believe I'm the first guest to stay here. And with my warm water, I wish you well. I wish peace to all the people in Sri Lanka and come and visit this wonderful space. I have never been to Sri Lanka before and I've been touched by how peaceful, how beautiful your country is and how friendly everyone has been towards us. And I'd like to thank the people of Sri Lanka for making us so very welcome. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abid. Have a great day and take care.